Let's go here and open this image. It is a raw image taken many years ago, and uh, I want to make it a black and white. So let's make it a little brighter and see what's going on there. There we go. All right, I want to make it black and white. My method I would use, it's really, really easy and so much better than it's been in the past, is this. If you go here to the basic panel in the camera raw window, which is the same as the develop module in Lightroom, and what I'm about to show you works the same way in Lightroom, you're going to want to click on these four icons right here. It's three rectangles with a magnifying glass. It is a, the profile browser. You're going to click on that and up pops all these different raw profiles and stuff. But what you want to go down to is the black and white profiles. In here are 17 different versions of your color photo and each one of them has a different black and white look applied to it. All you have to do is choose which one looks good to you. So let's do it. Click on this little toggle here. It makes them available. It shows you a very small preview, like a little thumbnail of what it looks like. But really what you want to do is hover your cursor over them. As you hover it, it shows you in your image, actually, you know, what it looks like. So far, that first one looked pretty good. It's kind of, you know, bright and punchy, but let's keep going. Ooh, now that one looks good too. I like nine. 10 looks good. Nine, 10. I don't know, it's a tough choice, but I think I'm going to go with nine, but you know, you can look at all of them. Now, it's just a starting place. It doesn't move any sliders. It's not a preset. Presets move your sliders. This is not. This happens before anything. So every slider will still be at zero. But there's one at zero I want to point out. It's really important. Watch, we're going to click on nine. And then do you notice right below it, did you see what happened? An amount slider appears. Once you make your choice and you're not just hovering anymore, an amount slider appears. If you want more of that effect, a more intense conversion, drag to the right. If you want a less intense, drag to the left. In fact, this might look better if I chose one that was a bit brighter, like number 10 here, so you can really see the difference. So there's a more intense, there's a less intense. Now, once you get this dialed in and you kind of get it where you like it, right? Actually, I really do like nine, so let's go with nine. Uh, you're gonna go up here to the top and you're gonna go back. And now you can start your process of you know, adding your stuff and doing your dance and adding your cool black and white stuff that makes it look cool and black and white. But that's your starting place, your starting place to go to those profiles, find one you like, and then you can tweak the image to your heart's content. I wish you the very best on your Photoshop journey, and we'll see you next time.